two wizards out here, I am um, going to tell you a little bit about what happened to me this week and how it's going to change my perspective on bugs. So, um, family guy's playing in the background, sorry about that. Um, let me just turn that off. Okay. So, I mow with my brother a lot. Like, whenever, like, I'm down here, and I'm down here quite a bit. Um, sometimes he'll wait for me to come back, and then we'll mow. I'm the, the weed whacker person. I guess he's told me I'm the only one who does it just as good as he does. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. But, um, the other day, two days ago, I was weed whacking, and I was mowing first. I was mowing a path that goes down to the ocean from some rich person's house and they wanted me to clear and widen the sides so what I did was I took the weed whacker down there and I um, went to go widen the sides of the path and very very abruptly interrupted a hornet's or wasp or nest and they didn't like it at all and I'm pretty sure like I cut into it or something because they all came out like at once and I had like five bad stings that I got and I never been stung before and like I'm almost 18 so um I got stung on my leg pretty bad I have a big welt like this big still um I've been trying to like Benadryl cream on it and like other stuff that I was told to do, and I have it on, on my ankle, on my armpit, on my back, I have like, I have maybe four or five or something like that, but, um, it happened, and it made me feel really funky, like, my throat started to like, feel like I couldn't breathe very well, and my throat, it was like tingly, and my lips were tingly and stuff. Um, I got very nauseated, and I got very, very shaky. So, what I did was, I ran up to my brother, and I dropped everything. I shut off the mower, I shut off the weed whacker, and just ran. Because I felt really funky, and didn't know what could happen to me, because of my uncle, how he is deathly allergic to hornets, wasps, bees, whatever, you name it, like that. Some, anything yellow and black um and insect form <laughs> yeah um so he has an EpiPen and I had to learn how to use it on him because in case it happens but I ran to my brother and I went up to the truck and I was like I don't feel good and I look over and he has a double bloody nose so we were both doing great today that day um he immediately gave me Benadryl and told me to put like Benadryl cream on my stings and where I got stung and he didn't like how I was acting so he called my dad and my dad told him to call the ambulance. At this time my brother's friend had showed up, Jared, and he was he was there to like help my brother finish the lawns, but he ended up being like the person who called the ambulance in the driveway because my brother had called 911 because my dad had told him to. Um, so now I had went to the hospital. They gave me an EpiPen on the way to the hospital and gave me lots of Benadryl. And it was really weird because I never had an EpiPen before. And like, I don't know. It was really weird. Like I got there and they were like, they watched me for a while to see if I didn't have any, like, after effects from the sting. Because sometimes it can, like, rebound, I guess, or come back a couple days later. I don't know. But, um, for precautionary measures, they, um, they gave me a prescription for EpiPen. Well, an EpiPen, obviously. Um, because of my throat swelling, difficulty breathing, lips tingling, um, and shakiness, and they diagnosed me with mild anaphylaxia, um, meaning that I'm allergic to the bees, stings, 
important it's small ass for whatever. So they gave me a prescription for EpiPens and I had to fill it before I left the ER. So um it was interesting and I'm glad I found out when I was with people that I'm allergic because otherwise it could have been bad. Uh, my one of my relatives, he's an EMT who showed up on scene for the fight for the rescue or the fire department people and he said that it's a good thing I was with people because if I wasn't bad things could have happened. So I'm really thankful that I was with my brother and other people. So I'll have my next video up um, and I'll show you a little bit about my EpiPens. So thanks for watching. I hope this like helped you in some way or gave you like some information about something. I don't know. Um, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, just comment below. No hater comments. Nobody likes hater comments, so. Um, anything? Want me to show you about any part of my pen? I'll show you a picture from my... I'll actually do that in my next video. I'll show you a picture of, like, one of the welts that I had on my legs. On my leg, and, yeah. So, I hope you get something out of this. Thanks.